everybody welcome back to this lovely channel and today I'm filming a product empties video. I know these aren't everyone's favourites but it's kind of a habit now I've got to film them. Some people like them but you know I'm kind of a little bit iffy like you know sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I'm gonna try and get through each product fairly quickly, you know, not waffle on about them at all and just kind of get through it. For some reason, it always ceases to amaze, no, hang on, it never ceases to amaze me how many products I always have at the end of, say, like, a few months. I'm like, how have I finished that many things? How have I got through, like, I don't think I'm buying as much stuff as I'm using up. I really don't, but, you know, I'm sure my dad would probably beg to differ but you know, I can't be. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this bag. So I'm literally just gonna delve in, grab some random stuff out and just say that I finished it basically. So that's the point of this video. Um, I have filmed quite a lot of these before. So if you're familiar to my channel, you're familiar to the fact that I've uploaded quite a lot of these. So let's just dive in, shall we? Oh, by the way, I've already filmed this video once before, but I just wanted to film it again with a nicer background. What? I'm filming a video. Uh, um, Tom, yeah? Uh, so you can just give me a hand for a minute, could you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's the candlestick? What? No, they're just over there because I wanted to put these up. The camera's rolling. It's rolling. Oh. Yeah, I was in the middle. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. And when, when do you think you can help me, Tom? In one minute. Oh. In one minute? Well, let's just carry on, shall we? Yeah. My throat hurts from talking too much. Okay, let's begin. Right, the first empty product is this one from The Ordinary. This is the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. And I feel like I bought this like a year ago, like it was a long time ago. And I just got this for a primer just to try it out. It's a little bit sticky now, but it got to the point where you couldn't really get much more product out of it. So this is what it looks like. And it, you know, it, it was okay. It was one of those primers that was smoothing. So it would smooth out your skin, fill in your pores. Your skin would be very soft before makeup application, but it kind of got a little bit sticky. So I won't actually be rebuying this. I prefer other primers. Next one is this here, which is a body wash from Sanctuary. And this is, oh, where the heck is the name? So cute. Not that so I'll wait for these two cubes to move. Do you like this? It says, hey. 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 Oh my God, careful. Tommy, that's very, it might fall because it fell earlier. It's not steady at all. It fell on its own. Well, it's not, it looks like it's not spread out far enough. No, that's how it, that, no, it can be any, any height. No, it's spread out. No, legs. because you can spread it in more. Dad, I usually, I don't, like that one's just accidentally like that. Yeah, but. That means it's more stable when it's when the wider part. Not not no. I know yeah. what it is. It's because that one's not as tightly wound. Oh. Right. Bye. Back to it. So next up, I have the Sanctuary Spa Body Wash, and this says it is an aromatic cleanser infused with essential oils bursting with jojoba beads and I actually really love this. I've never had kind of a strong opinion on any body wash because it's just a body wash but these have little beads in them like little pearly beads and it just made it feel really luxury when you used it it you know lathered up really really well and smelt really nice i think this was my favorite body wash i ever used so yeah this was definitely um a good one to buy and yeah i won't get it again but because i like to try different things but it was definitely a good one I then have a deodorant here. This is just from Dove. Can't really give a new opinion on this. It was grapefruit and lemongrass. I also have another deodorant and this one is from Right Guard. Is that the brand? I do not know. Um, but that is what it looks like. I only just ran out of this this morning. So I shoved it in. I do need to get another one. Otherwise I'll have to keep borrowing mums. Move out of the way. God, you're ruining the background. Makeup pads. Um, these are from Lidl. These were just some simple makeup pads. I love these makeup pads. I use them sometimes to just sort of remove my makeup with a little bit of like water or makeup remover, or I use them to apply my toner. I do actually have my toner down here. 
So I'll just pop a little bit of this toner onto one of these pads and just kind of wipe it around my face. And also, another good tip with these is that when your face gets oily throughout the day, you can grab one of them and then kind of pat it on your face and it actually gets rid of the oils. If you wipe it, you're gonna get rid of your makeup, but if you pat it, it just gently gets rid of that oily layer and leaves your makeup in place. So they're really good and obviously cheap because they're from Lidl. Um, then I have a dry shampoo from Batiste. This is a heavenly volume one. This always used to be my favorite one because it gave a lot of volume, which is, you know, what I'm here for. But, you know, now I just like any old dry shampoo. Like, it doesn't really bother me which one I have. But it, that is a good one. That's a good one. It does work well. I then have this body mist here, which, which is from So. And this one was in the scent Fresh Floral. It was a really nice smell wasn't anything special. I always use these. I love these because they're actually really, really cheap. I spray them on at the start of the day and I keep having to kind of give it a good old spray because they're not perfumes. They don't last forever, but they do last for a little while. And the reason why I don't really like to use perfumes these days is because I feel like all you can smell is that perfume throughout the day. And I just, I'm not there for it really because you just sat there and you're just like, I can, that, that is what I can smell all day long. And I just don't want to be smelling that. So yeah, this doesn't, you know, have that strong scent, thank God. I then have my toner, which I am not going to be using. Now, as you can probably see, it is not completely run out. This one is from Nivea and it's just their refreshing toner for normal and combination skin. The reason why I didn't finish this is because I noticed that I'd had it for quite a long time. So I thought maybe I should replace this because obviously when you have, especially skincare products for a long time, a lot of bacteria could potentially build up and then that defeats the purpose of the skincare product. So I bought a new toner, already showed it in this video, but this one here I bought from Garnier and this has already made it into my January favourites so if you my January favourites my June favourites so if you haven't seen my June favourites then I'll link it down below for you to go and watch but this was just an average toner I wouldn't say it's anything special at all I then have this little pot here which had silicone silk cocoons and um, basically what these were is they were little kind of little pad things that you kind of put your fingers in and then you like massage your exfoliator into your face it's just like a little massager i actually did really like these they were i thought they were quite a gimmicky thing but they did actually work quite well um but they've run out now so sad times then i have a foundation this is from the ordinary and this is the ordinary coverage foundation mine was in the shade 1.2 n i believe um if i remember rightly and basically this is a high coverage foundation and they have two from the ordinary they have the high coverage foundation they have the serum foundation i wanted to try the coverage one because obviously coverage but what i've noticed with this foundation is that despite it being a really cheap price of 5.95 when I wear it in the day, although the coverage is really good, by the end of the day, my skin actually looks really oily. So it doesn't actually work well with oily skin. It might work well with somebody with like dry skin or normal skin, but with someone with oily skin, it just gets really, really oily. And then when you dab your face um, or like you try and get rid of the oils, it goes a little bit bitty and a little bit cakey and it doesn't look the greatest. So I actually won't be rebuying this. When I first got this, I thought, yeah, this is my new foundation. I'm gonna keep buying this, but actually it's not as good as what it says um or what i thought it was it's all it's decent i might try the serum one another day because that's lighter coverage and i i'm okay wearing a lighter coverage foundation i've then got this brow pencil from natural collection where that where there's hairs everywhere i'm molting and this is just a plain simple brow pencil um is there a shade to it um i do not know but anyway i had a spoolie on one end which is here and then it has the product on the other end, which is here. I only really use the product for a little while because it's from Natural Collection, which means it's not the greatest product. And because it's a brow pencil, it was actually really hard. And like to get product out of it, like you just watch this, like you have to press really hard, like nothing's coming out of that. Like, can you see that? Look, you have to press so hard and you just hurt your eyebrows with that. Um, so I only kept this for like ages just to use the spoolie, but then I bought another, um, or I got sent, actually I got sent another eyebrow kind of pencil thing and it came with a spoolie. So I use that one now, so I thought I might as well just throw this one out. But I would not recommend this one. 
Then I've got this liquid lipstick here, which I believe was from MUA. Yeah, I bought this, I would say five or six years ago and I've used it kind of consecutively since then. The last time it was used was when I did my brother's makeup and he wore this lipstick in that video. And I just didn't want to use it after that because A, it had been on Tommy's mouth and B, mm -hmm. it was really old. So, mum, I can hear you laughing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's really old, so I thought, you know, it's probably got loads of bacteria in it. So what the hell is the point in keeping it? But this is what it looks like anyway, because obviously I have still got a little bit left. It was actually a really good shade, like it's a pinky nude colour. But, you know, we've got to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa! <laughs> this is Tommy, my brother that I just spoke about. It's coming home. <laughs> coming home, it's coming home. Football's coming home. You best get this uploaded before we actually uh, lose. Oh yeah. We're gonna lose. Cause it's coming home. <laughs> Yeah, if uh, this video is actually going up after the match on Wednesday. So if we lost it, then it's not coming home. If we've won it, it's coming home. Next up, I have another product from Natural Collection. And this one was their translucent setting powder. And this was a loose powder, that's right. And it was very white. And I always thought, you know, am I going to look like a ghost? Um, I used this until the absolute end. There's nothing in there. And it was good. But I've gone back to a pressed powder now because this just seems to get everywhere. Um, but I might go back to a loose powder again. It was pretty good and it was only a cheap price. So if you're looking for a cheap powder, then this is a good one. Then I have this lipstick here. Oh, there's a story to this one. Um, and this one's in the shade Cafe Olay. I remember I got this, I would say about four, maybe five years ago. I've had these products so long. It's like a nudie one and it's from the collection. So you can see the shade here. It's like a nudie colour. Yeah, it's from the collection and it's a really nice creamy formula. But a few months ago, I went into town and I thought, oh, I'll buy another lipstick from the collection. I saw this exact same lipstick and for some reason, I read the shade 22 Cafe Au Lait and it didn't process in my brain that I already owned this. So I bought it again and I have another one. So I thought I might as well get rid of this old one because it is getting a bit old and it is looking a little bit disgusting and it's probably got loads of bacteria on it. So I've got a new one and the new one, the shade of the new one is slightly different to this one, but it's probably the, it's probably the same, but this one's just gone a little bit lighter because it's old. But uh, what an idiot. Like I already, like as soon as I got home, I read the shade name again and I thought, hang on a minute, I recognise that. I've got that. God, why didn't I think of that in the shop? I do not know. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then a couple of concealers. The first one is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This one is just in the shade number one, Fair. Everyone knows the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer is a good one. It is high coverage, as you can see. Um, but it is a little bit cakey from time to time. It's a decent price of five pounds, but I do think it is quite thick and you can really feel it on your face. Whereas the next one, which I'm about to show you, I might actually rebuy again because this was a really good one. This one's from Maybelline and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It looks like this. Um, what, what shade? This was in the shade 15 and it's very creamy. It's, it's very creamy. It's very full coverage and it applied really easily and it just blended out really nicely. And this is probably my favorite concealer that i've ever used i do also have down here with me the um revolution conceal and define concealer which potentially might be also a favorite but i think these two joint are favorites um i haven't run out of this by the way it was in a favorites video who are you talking to yourself dylan mm -hmm. oh dylan can be in one of my videos i mean my sister just came in the video Hey, Dylan, Dylan. Uh, yeah. Guess what? It's coming home. Anyway, and then finally, there's these two toothpastes here, which I did actually get sent um, to do a video on, and they're from Pink Charcoal. And I've just run out of them, so I thought I'd best include them in these videos. There weren't anything special. This one's pink, this one's Probably. black. Um, the packaging obviously represents the colour of the toothpaste. Yeah, they weren't anything special or anything different. They right. taste minty, um, but they didn't really do anything kind of 
amazing so have to say goodbye to them yeah. and i don't know if their website's launched yet because when they sent me those products their website hadn't launched yet which i find very weird um but i think it might have launched now otherwise that would be strange so that is everything whole bag empty so now i can go and literally lob all of these out which will be nice so we can go throw these out and yes if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and uh see you next time goodbye bye tommy